Hello there! In this lesson, we'll be creating this interesting geometric painting with metallic acrylic paints. But before we get into it, if you love art, then make sure you check out the other lessons at our website at www.montmart.net because there is hundreds there, as well as links to our Facebook and Instagram pages and to our art club, The Creative Connection. stage is to mark up the canvas. I'm using a HB pencil and begin by placing vertical and horizontal lines centrally in the canvas. Once I have the horizontal line in, I lay a protractor on it and mark the 30 degree points to this line. Once I've laid in the points, I use a rule to lay in the two key lines. I then create a series of parallel lines to the key lines first drawn. The distance between each line will dictate how big the blocks will be. Any sized block will work, as will any sized canvas. Once the canvas is marked up, I squeeze out some bronze paint from the Montmartre Metallic Acrylic Intro Set. I'm using a number 12 angle brush as it is much easier to get it into the corners of each block. I start in the middle and work my way down the canvas. Pretty soon you work out the pattern and it's actually quite relaxing and nice the way it comes together. Geometric designs are quite gradual and some may be wondering why create a work like this. Well, forming and following patterns requires certain logic and it's self-induced state of focusing. This focusing stimulates the brain's right hemisphere which is associated with creativity. It also brings about mindfulness because creating patterning makes you very present and all of these help to beat stress. Plus, at the end of it all, you end up with a product for your effort and your own creation. I draw in the vertical lines from the bronze to avoid any confusion as the canvas fills up. The metallic intro set contains eight pieces. I'm doing a gold, silver and bronze colour grouping, but blue, green and magenta would work pretty well also. Once you get the hang of these angle brushes, you will wonder how you ever got on without them. I think I use the number 12 size more than any other brush. You can see how effective this metallic paint is at reflecting the light. And because these paints are mica based, they won't tarnish either. Next, I squeeze out the gold. This occupies the left side of the block and it's pretty easy to see where to lay this tone as obviously the bronze coat is a good guideline. When you lay out the paint, it is best to do it in little portions so you don't lose any from it drying before you get to use it. This pattern is a variation of the tumbling block pattern, but there is many others and different variations of this theme. This is an electric razor and I'm using it to remove the line work from the last area, as this is where the silver lies. Silver is obviously lighter and I don't want to run the risk of any lines being visible. I then squeeze out a thin bead of silver and apply it to the last section. side of the canvas to finish it off cleanly. I use lamp black satin series acrylic and I apply it carefully with a 100 millimeter sponge roller. Well thanks for watching. You can share your creative projects on social media using hashtag Montmartre Art. We look forward to your creations and we'll see you next time.